Hi you there again, it's Stephanie with just another video for you. Um, today we're going to be making a card um, using a Tim Holtz stamp called Crazy Bird. It's one of my favorites. Um, we're going to be watercoloring today. So no markers. So first we're going to work on the background and I decided to use some inks. This is the color Puma Stone. And it's supposed to be gray but it always turns out green when I watercolor it. But I kind of like it. Um, I haven't lost my mind. I wanted a really grungy sort of not pretty background because the type of card we're making is a card for, um, you know, when somebody's having a really bad day or something goes wrong. Um, I wanted to make sort of a smart alecky card for that. So um, I didn't want it to be pretty. I wanted it to be like gray skies or a dumpster fire or something. I don't know. I just didn't want it to be very pretty. Um, so I used the Puma Stone and then I decided, hey, let's not waste that ink and blotted it down so that it would look really messy. I'm super impatient so I used a heat gun. Um, and then because it's distressed ink, I put some water on it so that it's all splotchy. And then I decided that was ugly enough. And so now we're gonna go with the um, Focus uh, I know with rubber stamps you're supposed to take out that black thing, but I never do because I'm lazy and it works just fine. So I'm going to use VersaFine ink, which is a pigment ink, but it's waterproof, so it's pretty good for watercoloring. And I'm going to stamp it two times because I like it really bold black outline. And I like this stamp because this bird looks concerned and um, I like, I don't know, that's how I feel most days when things don't go my way and things don't usually go my way uh, not that everything needs to go my way but everything needs to go my way otherwise I'm not going to be happy um, and if I'm happy then everybody's happy I, I told my husband once when we got married I was like listen just remember happy wife happy life and for the most part he follows that so it's good um, so instead of using watercolor paints, I'm going to use some Tombow markers. Um, I did note the numbers, so they'll be in the thing below, the description below. Um, I decided a red bird is always good, and so I decided to color slash paint him with red. You can do this with any markers, it doesn't have to be these markers, you can have some Crayola markers and the same thing is going to work. All you got to do is, um, color it in and then use a wet paintbrush and move the ink around because um, you're making it run on your terms. So I'm just using a cheap paintbrush from Michaels. It's It was like three dollars and they're my favorite. And so then you just control, like in a controlled way you make the ink run and then there you go. Looks like watercolor. And I do a little highlight in the middle where it would be and then boom! Dimension. Um, and it took Actually, I only sped this up two times, so it didn't take any time at all. And so, again, heat tool, impatient. Um, and a hint, if your paper starts warping, heat the back. It'll flatten out again. For the beak, I'm using brown in this gross yellow color. Um, like I said, I didn't want it to be a too happy card because it's supposed to be for somebody that, you know, things aren't going their way. Um, one thing I always do is I always put shadow on the eyeballs. Uh, it's just it just makes them look round. You don't have to though. And want a little more yellow in the beak, and there you go. One concerned bird, and one black speech bubble. Um, so I'm gonna I want to pop them up on a card. Um, so I'm just cutting them out. Um, you'll notice that I do cut off his legs and I do cut off his hair, and I'm not some sort of cartoon bird murderer. I just um, know that I'm going to stamp it on the card so that, because I didn't want to cut around all those stupid things. And I'm not a great cutter, so if I just color the outline b black, then you can't really tell that I'm such a terrible color. So I had a plan for this little speech bubble. I want the bird to be swearing, but not really swearing because I know kids watch this video. Um, my nieces Tessa and Tave watch it, so I, no swearing. And so instead, I'm going to do like the cartoon sort of sweary words, which is like with different symbols. So like we have like an, an ampersand and um, a hashtag and all sorts of things. So you can imagine 
that the bird, if the bird could talk, he'd be swearing. And he'd be swearing at me now anyways, because I cut his legs off. So this is a good speech bubble for this bird. Um, so it's really tiny, and um, the embossing powder I chose wasn't really up to the task of really tiny words. So it just looks like a kind of white blob right now. And I was not impressed with a white blob. So one way to fix this is you pull out a permanent marker and you draw in the black spaces. So that's what we're going to do. So I just took a little micron pen and started coloring in the parts that were filled in by the tape so that you can see that it's just a bunch of symbols just to make the bird look extra frustrated. And there's our background. Um, so as I said, I cut off the legs and hair because it's too hard to cut around them and I didn't want any white around the bird, so instead I just cut out the color parts and then if I stamp it onto the background, it looks like I cut out the whole thing perfectly. Ha! It's a trick. It's a lazy person's trick. Um, see? Oh bird. So now he can be happy and he doesn't need to swear at me anymore because he's got legs again. Um, one thing I like to do is I like to pop it up on some foam tape. This is my dollar store foam tape. You don't need $40 foam tape. I mean, if you can afford $40 foam tape, awesome. Uh, and you should think about adopting a full-grown adult woman because I'll come live with you if you have $40 foam tape. But mm. I just get mine from the dollar store and it's perfect. And so there, and I cut my nails off so now I can't take the backing off of anything so you're gonna watch me even though I sped it up you're gonna watch me struggle with this paper and I put a little bitty piece on his beak and so what I'm gonna stick him down on the background and he looks pretty good with that grungy background with grungy background in concerned bird and then we're gonna put his little frustrated speech bubble I'm gonna color in a white spot that I left because I didn't want any white spots on him and and then we're going to put our little speech bubble, sorry I'm out of frame there, up and now he looks very concerned. Um, I liked it as it was but I felt that it needed a bit of a sentiment so I went with the what the, um, which is what I would say if somebody told me something shocking or disappointing. So what the seemed really appropriate. Now. As with most of my cards lately, I decided that I was going to put it on a black matting. I don't know. I just think it looks classy. And a swearing bird should have a classy background. So I put it on some black paper. And then I'm going to stick it to a white note card. And then that's going to be that's going to be the whole card. I think it looks great the way that it is. It's not too cheerful, but I think that it's funny. I think it would give somebody a chuckle for a moment and forget whatever's happened so I really like it and I hope you do too Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, if you're still here and you haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. If you want to see the last video I did, which was, I think, a Christmas video, but it was also a Snoop Dogg video, um, go ahead and click on that link. And I hope to see you around again.